Yes, I'm Kiyomi from uh, Honolulu Coffee Company, and uh, today I'm going to be teaching you how to brew coffee on a Kalita wave. Um, so there are multiple styles of the Kalita wave. Um, I have a metal one here as well as a ceramic. Um, they relatively um, all have the same purpose. They have the horizontal lines throughout, uh, as well as the three drip holes on the bottom here. Um, for our recipe, we're going to be using 24 grams of coffee. Um, today we're using our Kona Estate selection that we have here. Uh, we're going to use about 400 grams of water. This will make about 1 to 16 coffee to water ratio. Um, first things first, we are going to pour water onto our filter here. I have hot water in our kettle. This is preheating our kettle. And uh, basically the purpose of this is to get rid of any paper taste, uh, any particles, any dust that may have been on the filter. Uh, this will alter the taste of the coffee, so this is a good way to get rid of it. Uh, while this is dripping here, I'm going to grind our coffee. Uh, so the grind size that we have here is a medium fine grind size. So we're going to zero our scale here. Um, so the first pour that we're going to do is going to be called our bloom. Uh, so basically we're going to saturate all the grinds, we're going to get all the coffee wet, um, and then we're going to let that bloom for about 45 seconds. So you do need a scale at home, uh, as well as a timer. This will just help you to make a more precise coffee measurements, just to make a better coffee. So 45 seconds is coming up right here, so we're just going to pour. We're going to start from the middle, and we're going to circle outwards. We want to get all the coffee grinds wet right here. You don't want to pour too fast or too slow. Um, you can either under extract which is basically the water's pouring through too fast, or you can over extract, which basically the water's taking too long to go through the coffee. So our coffee's right about done dripping here. We're in about three minutes is our brew time. About done brewing here. Uh, a lot of people are intimidated uh, from making coffee at home using Kalitas, French presses, but uh, home brewing is really fun and it's actually really, really easy. And uh, once you get the hang of it, it's more fun to customize it and uh, just make a nice cup of coffee for you at home. What do you say? Hey guys, are you still there? <laughs> hey guys, are you still there? Because I am. And guess what? We're blowing French presses. <laughs> well, first things first, um, this is a little bit different than the uh, Kalita Wave. Uh, so this one is going to be, for the grind size, it's going to be a little bit more coarse. Uh, we're going to saturate the water and the grinds within the same vessel. Um, so we're actually going to grind our coffee first. Oh, this on most grinds would basically be the coarsest setting that you can do. So it's pretty coarse compared to the Kalita. The Kalita is much more of a finer grind. Yep, so we're gonna get a little bit of this in here. Um, and we are using the same recipe, so 24 grams of our uh, Kona Estate right here that we have. Um, and then we're using 400 grams of hot water. So we're going to tear the scale out right here with the coffee inside. And now we're going to pour it until 400. 400 grams. Pour the water straight inside. And then it kind of just starts brewing once you start the timer. Maybe four minutes. Uh, once four minutes hits, all we're going to do is press it and then pour it. 
We're about done with our French press here, um, and it's really easy. Once it's done, all you do is put the top on. We're gonna press the coffee, and then you just pour it in, ready to serve. Um, one of the reasons why I like French press, um, if you're a person who likes more full-bodied coffees, I would definitely recommend the French press. It's more full-bodied, um, there's a lot more oils on there. It's kind of a nice, bold cup. Same coffee, same ratio, same recipe, different brew method. Still delicious.